Delta variant is pushing central Indiana hospitals to the brink tonight. Doctors compare this latest surge to the worst they saw last year. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan explains why the new numbers have health officials so concerned. Numbers are what they are, void of politics and interpretation, just facts. Right now, COVID numbers show. From a hospital standpoint, it is a pandemic of the vaccine. And there's just no question about that. At Community Health, more than 95% of COVID cases are unvaccinated Hoosiers. At Eskenazi Health, nearly all of their COVID intensive care patients are unvaccinated. But just know that with this virus, even healthy people we're seeing get critically ill who are unprotected from vaccination. Dr. W. Graham Carlos is a pulmonary critical care doctor treating patients with COVID. I've certainly seen many more critically ill people in their 30s and 40s this time around than I did back in March, April 2020. Previously, all the people that were hospitalized were ones that were, had a lot of what I call comorbidities or other health issues. That's not necessarily the case this time. In June, Community Health had one out of 50 beds with COVID patients. Now, it's one out of eight. And so if this keeps on going, we won't have enough beds to take care of common stuff like broken bones and heart attacks and strokes. For these doctors, the burnout has become admittedly real. It's especially hard when you know that there's a there's a way to kind of fix this. Dr. Ram Yaletti treats COVID patients at Community. Many of them still don't believe in the vaccination despite this, and so they're not planning on having their family get vaccinated either. Uh, but I've certainly seen lots of regret for patients that do end up in life support. In Indiana, there have been 322 hospitalizations from breakthrough cases, 0.01% of fully vaccinated Hoosiers. Most of the breakthrough cases are, are people who stay at home. They have like a uh, mild uh, kind of a common cold type of symptoms. Dr. Yaletti saying most breakthrough patients never enter the hospital. This this truly is, is a surge that was avoidable. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News.